Hey guys, it's 7 o'clock on a Tuesday night. And where else would I be but here with you? DJ Stets here with Little Arts Academy and Imperfect Heroes Podcast. And it's Christmas time! How fun is that? And uh, we're so excited and it's fun. We're expecting kids and grandkids and it's all going to be so much fun. And it can get so chaotic at Christmas time, can't it? Because it feels like there's just so much to do, right? And so this week, though, we're talking about episode, what would number? 128, 128, is that crazy? And we're talking about six keys to help you just unravel all that holiday chaos. And so I'm not going to go over all six keys here because... That's what the podcast is for. So I hope you'll listen to it and um, enjoy it. But I just want to talk to you for just maybe a few seconds about just thinking about the challenges and the stress that comes along with the holiday. It's so sweet and it's so endearing and it's just so lovely. We look forward to it all year long, like starting January 2nd. <laughs> We start thinking about the next year, don't we? And um, so we really want to make it a time that we enjoy as well as the kids. And But I think, too, we want to make sure. Let me see if that maybe doesn't need to be shining on my glasses. But um, well, I think we want to make sure that it's a time that, you know, sometimes we put things into a lot of effort into things that, the kids really don't care about. And so we want to really think about what we're putting effort into, why we're putting the effort into it. And then, you know, there, you've heard of ROI. Anyone in business knows about ROI. That's a return on investment. And so are we getting the return on all the time and the effort that we're putting into uh, different things it in the holidays so whether it's parties or cooking or presents or decorating or all of those things are we getting that return back does it really mean the things that we think it means and so I really want you to talk about or think about all of that I mean there's uh, the parties that we go to and there might be the parties that we host, right? And so really think about those things. Why am I doing this? Am I doing it because I feel obligated? Am I going because I feel obligated? Or am I going because I really want to? These, you know, these are fun. They're involving my kids. Maybe you're there some time away from my kids because we need that time too. And so why am I going? Or am I going just because you know, they might get mad if I don't go, or it's that work party that I feel obligated to go to, you know, all those kinds of things. But let's think about um, why we're going. And so if it's not because we love it and we really want to go, cross it off the list, and you can send a thank you or, uh, you know, we appreciate being invited. But um, we have some other things in our plans, and that's how it goes. One of the things I do talk about on the podcast, and I'd like to really reiterate it here because, man, it is a game changer, is having a, a calendar that you can put up where everyone can see. So you they, you can get them there. Well, you can't really. It's not that big, but it's that big. Um, and, you know, you can dry erase it or whatever. But it's big enough where you can put all the stuff that you're doing so that you can see what am I fitting in to a day. And so do I have enough time for all these parties? And maybe uh, you want to say, okay, kiddos, I know you've got maybe soccer and hockey and gymnastics and dance and uh, your piano concerts or whatever it is that you've got going on. And maybe we say, okay, we can do one or maybe two or whatever, you decide what's right for you and then say, which one's the most important for you, right? Yeah, let the kids maybe talk about designing the 
uh, decorations you're going to put on outside? Which are the ones that they love seeing? Um, or do you even put decorations up? We never put decorations up when I was a kid. We put decorations up when I was the mom um, because I, I didn't like not having decorations on the outside of my house growing up. Now, one thing my dad did do is we made a family uh, traditional trip driving around and seeing other people's decorations. But that was a fun night for us as a family. It was driving around and we'd go get ice cream. Um, it was Los Angeles, it wasn't that cold. So, <laughs> but we would drive around and see all of the cool decorations that other people had shown up and and uh, and then go get ice cream. But um, my dad just didn't feel obligated to put up the decorations, but that was for him. That's great, wonderful. So, you know, really look and see what's going on, what's really important for you. And then maybe even think about uh, the gift giving. Why are you giving this person a gift? Because you feel obligated? <laughs> Things are tight. Inflation's crazy right now. And uh, the cost of living uh, is just going up. And a lot of the times, maybe the money that you saved up for Christmas has been eaten up and just trying to feed the family or put clothes on their back or whatever. So uh, maybe you need to reassess on on who you're giving gifts for uh, or giving gifts to, and then how much are you spending on gifts this year, right? And there's always the joy of maybe uh, doing crafts and doing homemade gifts. They're always more personal, less expensive, but then they cost in time. Do you have the time to do it? And so I think this is my thing is if you're going to do homemade gifts, um, you probably need to start really early, like July. <laughs> and so <laughs> January. <laughs> but if you're going to do some homemade gifts, then, you know, really consider starting early. It might be a little too late to do those homemade gifts by the time, you know, well, tonight you're going to see it tonight. But um, so think about you know, all of those things and decide what am I going to do? Well, lots of good ideas on Christmas chaos and how we can make it more meaningful for us. And so I've got a lot of great ideas, but we had, we had six main keys to help you calm the chaos. Are there more ideas that you can use? Yeah. But you know, do you get overwhelmed by thinking, <laughs> overthinking? <laughs> How I'm going to calm things down, and then you get overloaded by ah, how am I going to overload? How am I going to calm the overload? So, you know, just do it with uh, an idea of what's really important to me, what is really going to be meaningful to my kids, and what really doesn't matter. <laughs> and And then be thoughtful about, you know, when you and your spouse come together, you have ideas that are really important to you. Your spouse really has um, traditions that are important to them. So maybe you're going to like do the mind build of um, what are some ways that we can make adjustments and maybe bring them together in a way that is a little bit different for each of you, but now they're your own. Or, you know, maybe you give up some, they give up some, um, or maybe just do totally new things. But you'll know what to do when the time comes. But Try to plan it out ahead of time and think of some things. Now, um, as far as gift giving goes, dun, 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 dun. yes, you can still get Roman is bigger. Yes, this lovely book made, uh, authored by me. <laughs> so I actually had my first book signing this uh, last weekend, and it was pretty fun at St. Anthony. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce put together a little Christmas thing. And so I did a book signing there and I have another one coming up in Rexburg this weekend. And so I think that's all I'm going to do before the holidays. But um, you can always email me if you do want a signed copy for your kiddos. And so if you want to order that, um, just send me an email. It's just DJ Stutz at Little Heart Scout of a USA. Bye. Come and it's only 15 bucks if you want it signed and just tell me who you want it signed to or if there's anything specific that you want and I will get that off to you ASAP so we'll get that done I'm 
already working on book two where Roman finds out that uh, he's going to be a big brother and he's trying to decide, is this a good thing or not? <laughs> and how's that going to work? And even book three is in the works as well. So pretty fun stuff. We're going to have a little bit of a Roman series going on. So pretty cool. Um, and as always, if you have any questions, concerns, thoughts, uh, how do I make this work? Am I crazy? Uh, are my kids crazy? <laughs> Whatever it is, I would love to talk to you and help you work things out. I have fun with my clients and, uh, but I also have some great ideas on how to make things work for you. And so you can always get a hold of me on the website, www.littleheartsacademyusa.com. And we always have some great ideas that are coming down through the podcast, Imperfect Heroes Insights into Parenting. So I am just making this short today because I don't want to add to your Christmas chaos and take up too much time, but I love to all. I'll be back here next week and uh, in two weeks, you're going to want to watch it. So YouTube and Rumble um, because Santa is coming to the podcast. Yes, he is on the 18th. So mark that on your calendar. You're going to want to watch it on YouTube or Rumble. So we'll talk to you later. Thank you, everybody, and let's find joy in parenting. See ya!